This is now our third video on proof by induction. If you're new to the topic, please do check out video one as there's some key learning points in there. In this question, we're asked to use a method of mathematical induction to prove the following statement for n, where n is a positive integer. We've got five to the power of n, plus nine to the power of n, plus two is divisible by four. There are a couple of different approaches that you could take. The one I like to do is say, let the f of n be equal to five to the power of n, plus nine to the power of n, plus two. We now carry out our basis case. In the last couple of videos, we've let n be equal to one. We need n to be a small positive integer value here. One is always gonna be fairly straightforward. So what we'll do is the f of one. The f of one will give me five to the power of one, plus nine to the power of one, plus two. So we can see from here, f of one will give us now five plus nine, which is 14 plus two, which is 16. Quite clearly, that's divisible by four. So we can say the f of one will be four lots of four. We can write under here, shown true for n is equal to one. Therefore, we can say now divisible by four. So that's the basis case done. We've taken n to be equal to one. We now do step two, which is the assumption. So we write out shown true for n is equal to one. We now write assume, and assume, writing the word assume is very important. Assume true for n is equal to k. k is a positive integer such that, and all we're gonna do right here is show the f of k. So what we're gonna have then is the f of k will be five to the power of k plus nine to the power of k plus two. And we say f of k is divisible, so it's divisible by four. So this is our assumption. We've shown it holds true for n is equal to one. We now assume it's true for n is equal to k, where k is a positive integer, such that the f of k is five to the power of k plus nine to the power of k plus two, and the f of k is divisible by four. We now move on to step three, which is the inductive step. And we state if true for n is equal to k, so if true for n is equal to k, then true for the next positive integer, n is equal to k plus one. So we have n is equal to k plus one, such that, and we're simply gonna do now the f of k plus one, we have the f of k plus one, will be now five to the power of k plus one, plus nine to the power of k plus one, plus the two. At this stage, I'm just gonna rely on the rules of indices, and I'm gonna try and make the f of k plus one look similar to the f of k. So if we've got five to the power of k plus one, that's five times five to the power of k. So what we can write then is the f of k plus one will be now five lots of five to the power of k. All I've done is use the rules of indices here, split this up and rewritten it. If we consider this one, what we're gonna have is nine lots of nine to the power of k. If you wanna see this as a little one, and this is a little one, when you multiply, you add the powers. So this now is the f of k plus one. At this stage, what I'm gonna do is the f of k plus one minus the f of k. So just re, uh, rewriting this now, what I'm going to have is 5 lots of 5 to the power of k plus 9 lots of 9 to the power of k plus 2. And now I'm going to subtract away the f of k. So subtracting away now, and I'm just going to rewrite this. You can, of course, just write 5 to k plus 9 to the k plus 2. I'm just going to write 1 lot of 5 to the k and then I'm gonna put plus one lot of nine to the K. This really isn't required, but it might help you if you're unsure. So we've got the plus two. So quite clearly we can see the plus two and the minus two are gonna cancel. So we can now write out the F of K plus one minus the F of K and just simply tidying this up. If I've got five lots of five to the K minus one lot of five to the K, then I've got four lots of five to the K. And that's why I like to write it like so. Often students confuse this with five, for some reason five. Then we've got nine lots of nine to the K minus one lot of nine to the K, which is gonna give me plus eight lots of nine to the K. And then of course the twos are gonna cancel. So what we can now do, adding f of k to both sides, remember we've assumed this is true for f of k, that that's divisible by four. So we can now do f of k plus one 
will be equal to, and I'm just going to now factor this again, we can have four lots of 5 to the power of k plus two lots of 9 to the power of k, and then we're going to have plus the f of k. So all I've done is added that to both sides. Therefore, we can now write shown true for n is equal to k plus 1. So we've simply shown that if this is true for n is equal to k, then we've shown that this part is also divisible by 4. So all we need to do now is our conclusion. So if we just now jot down step 4, which is our conclusion, and we can write shown true for n is equal to k plus 1 if true for n is equal to k. So shown true for n is equal to k plus 1 if true for n is equal to k. We've shown it's true, so shown true for n is equal to 1, therefore true for all n, true for all n, where n is a positive integer and we can put by mathematical, so mathematical, let's scribble this out, let's pretend I can spell that, induction. So there we go, that's our proof completed. So all we've done is let the f of n be 5 to the n plus 9 to the n plus 2. We've done a basis case when n is equal to 1. We've subbed it in and shown it's divisible by 4. We've now assumed it's true for n is equal to k, where k is a positive integer, such that the f of k is 5 to the k plus 9 to the k plus 2, and that is divisible by 4. We've then gone for the inductive step. If it's true for n is equal to k, then it'll be true for n is equal to k plus 1. k plus 1 is simply the next integer on. If k was 20, k plus 1 is 21. Such that the f of k plus 1 is given to be this expression right here. We've used the rules of indices. I've subtracted f of k from f of k plus 1, factored it, and shown now that we can take 4 from this expression. We've assumed it's true for f of, uh, f of k and simply concluded at the end. So there's a nice example of another proof by induction, and these are your steps that you need.